diversity of our economy by growing jobs across Illinois, especially for communities that have been left out and left behind. The people have spoken, and we chose hope and inclusion. We chose respect and collaboration, and we chose bridges over walls. I will be focused on proud, uh, solving problems, not picking political fights. I will never make promises I cannot keep, and I will always work for you. It's time for a change, folks. There are many Minnesotans out there who might have had a different vision of Minnesota. And I have a message for those voters tonight. I will be your governor just as much as I will be for the people in this room. We go back to work tomorrow, continuing to bring the change to Rhode Island that Rhode Islanders want and deserve. Thank you all for showing that Colorado voters believe in unity and believe that we're all in this together. Gone are the days where anyone talks about New Mexico not being in first place. It's gone. California is America's coming attraction, a, a rocket-fueled engine of human industry and innovation, the nation's greatest job creator and the fifth largest economy in the world. I will do everything in my power to set the right tone. I will listen every day to leaders from both parties and to the people of this state. Tonight, I do hope this election signals, sends a powerful signal, a message to the women and girls of Maine of any age. There is no obstacle you cannot overcome. None. This election is about you. It's about putting your priorities first, and it's what's determined, I'm determined to do as your next governor of Nevada. This election shows that when our values are on the ballot, Oregonians will come together. And we might not count to stand up for what we believe in. Four years ago, I stood before you and I said, you know, we have a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Tonight, I have basically the same message. We still have a lot of work to do, so let's get back to work. I want Democrats there. I want Republicans there. we got to work together to get through this thing, and that's how we're going to do it. And I'm proud of the statement that New York has made, especially in light of what's going on nationwide, because once again, New York State defines what it means to be the progressive capital of the nation. We are committed to a sustainable Hawaii, committed to ensuring that the peoples of the First Nation of Hawaii are partners as we define the Hawaii that we want to leave to our children and our children's children.